been a long road for recovery for many of the local churches damaged or destroyed by Hurricane Michael. You can count First Presbyterian Church, Panama City in that group. But as News 13's Grace Velez tells us, they're now on track to be back in their sanctuary by the end of next year. Next Christmas will bring members of the First Presbyterian Church the gift of a rebuilt and renovated place of worship. After Hurricane Michael wrecked the sanctuary, National Newscast featured video of the sanctuary. For the last six years, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has shared their church with the Presbyterian congregation. There's been stacks of FEMA paperwork, rising building costs, COVID, and inflation. But finally, the end is in sight. 365 days is what uh, our contractor will have and we'll be in here by next Christmas, which would be incredible. It'd be a great gift to, to us, and uh, we, you know, we're downtown, we wanna serve the community. Hopefully we'll be a gift to the community as well. Although Taz is from Richmond, Virginia, the senior pastor had the unique opportunity of joining the church after the storm devastated the downtown sanctuary. Sold my house, quit my job, and after the storm hit, I had called the pastor at the time and said, do I still have a job? He said, I'm not sure. And so uh, they stepped out in faith and they said, yeah, come on down and the rest is history. He says when he arrived, it looked like a bomb had gone off. The next steps were uncertain. FEMA determined the church was eligible for $7,569,000 in aid if they could come up with a 25% match. Our people have been so generous with everything. And like I said, we even have people from uh, outside the church who have, have seen us and have given and, and just been so gracious to us. Work crews have completely gutted the church. Over the next 12 months, they'll renovate the sanctuary, build a new education addition, a social hall, and much more. Taz said he's looking forward to being back in the heart of downtown and fostering their relationship with the businesses and community members like the church has been doing since 1951. In Bay County, Grace Velez, News 13, Panhandle Street. Hey, you can check out the rebuilding plans and the blueprints on our website, mypanhandle.com.